All right, here we are, French 8, week 4. Here's what you got to do. We're looking for this assignment. It's called Assignment Number 4, Leisure Hyphen Culture. Okay, If you're on the Assignments tab, okay, you don't want to be using this one that has the, uh, the parentheses in it. Okay, That has some weird formatting issues. You want to be using this one. It says Assignment Number 4, Leisure Hyphen Culture with nothing after it. Okay, So we click on it. Here is our assignment. Okay. It says, now that we've learned sports and activities, we move on to part two of this topic, musical instruments, TV, movies, and theater vocabulary, PowerPoint below, has a sound in it so you can listen to it. Really cool. I'll show you how that's set up. First, go through the new vocabulary words, then open the purple notes document to fill in your leisure open notes quiz. The key to the quiz has also been provided to you. Also, my teacher website page is provided to help you. Please reach out if you need help. Note, the Word document provided on Friday had major formatting problems. That was the other assignment. So she changed it to this new class notebook format, which is set up beautifully, and it works really, really well. So let me show you this. So the first thing she has here is a link to her page. Okay, So if you click this, um, this is really good reference, uh, especially this folder right here has all of the vocabulary lists. All the vocabulary lists from seventh grade, as well as all of the vocabulary lists for eighth grade. So if you need those, there they are. All right, so looking at this document right here, it's called flashcards, okay? We're gonna wanna download this right to the desktop, okay? So if we click this and click download, it's gonna download into our downloads uh, folder, okay? It's right down here. I'm gonna click open, right? And it's gonna open in PowerPoint, okay? Let me grab it a big screen so what's really cool about this is that mrs. Burgess has put her voice okay into this document so that you can listen to it okay you can hear her speak these different words okay so you're gonna want to click play okay um, you might not have that button up there so if you just go to slideshow right here it says from beginning so you click on it I'm going to play it. Now, anywhere that you see this little speaker icon, you can click play and hear her speak the vocabulary word. It's a little quiet there. I'm going to turn up my volume down here so that you can hear it. Okay. Let's try that again. Here it is. Click play. click on it and there it pops up and maybe you want to hear it after the the text actually pops up so you can hear it again and you can click play and hear it as many times as you want okay click through all right here's the text click the play and listen to her speak it I find that very helpful Okay, so you go through all of these, they all have audio attached to them and you can listen to them, okay? The next thing uh, that you need to do is this quiz, okay? So it's right down here, it's purple, okay? And it opens right here in this window, okay? For, um, and it's in what's called OneNote, Okay, and right along the side here, she set it up for you to type in all of your answers. So one, two, three goes one, two, three. So you write your answers right here using the word box up, you know, word bank up here. Four, five, six is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, etc. One through nine here. Instead of trying to type on these lines, just type right in these this box right next to the number. Okay. Same thing down here, one, two, three, four is one, two, three, four over here. Again, just like before, one, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera, okay? One, two, three, four, five, boom, you just write the letter, A, B, C, D, or E, okay? Down here, multiple choice, just write your answer for each question, okay? Same thing, six, seven, eight uh, are multiple choice as well. So you type in this box here, doing these activities on the left, okay? When you're done, click close and make sure you click turn in. If you wanna check your answers before you turn it in, you can click this 
and it will show you uh, all of the answers to the quiz. How nice is this? Obviously don't use this right off the bat. Try it for yourself, but if you get stuck and you wanna check your answers, here they all are, okay? And that will help you do the notes here, all right? When you're done, click that turn in button, and that's what you gotta do for French this week.